Nice. Actually, actually huge. Now we just got to do this freaking 29 more times. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. 40% more base damage. Oh my god. Oh, you get more stacks gained as well? Oh wow. What the hell? More energy restoration as well. Look at this. Boom. Alright, so what are, what is she looking like? Not very good. She needs that last ascension to get 230 energy recharge. I lose the Electro Damage bonus there. I get more Energy Recharge. We get more Crit Damage. Same Crit Rate, almost. 200 more Attack. The issue is I don't have an ER Goblet. Unless I use this thing. Alright, let's see what she's doing now. Let's see what she can do. I'm really sad. Because I wish I would have known about Raid Shadow Legends sooner! Raid Shadow Legends is a turn-based RPG with a bunch of units to collect. Here are some of my favorites. My boy Drex is a boss killing machine. Anytime anyone attacks him, it sets them on fire. And this is actually a free unit you can get in game. And Archmage Helmet has carried my team in Faction Wars and was actually a free unit I got from my favorite game mode, the Doom Tower. Now, if you start playing with my link down below, you can not only get a bunch of free goodies, but you can get this epic champion, Tyrell. This guy is like a legendary unit. This will literally carry your account, so I'm not kidding when I say this is a really good time to start playing Raid if you've ever wanted to try. This unit, God Tier. Decrease their attack, decrease their defenses, and you can knock back their turn meter so they don't even get any turns. It's incredible. Just make sure when you start playing, you go to your inbox up in the corner here and make sure to collect your free stuff. Click the link down below, download Raid today, and thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Oh no! Extra crit rate and crit damage, that's OP. Illusion shot. Teamwork is great work. You're toast! Rain cutter. Rain outlines you. Now you shall perish. 100,000 damage. 15,000. There is no escape. Inazuma shines eternal. <laughs> Um, all I know is riding Shogun is crazy. Like, she's actually so crazy. She's even better than I thought she was gonna be, honestly. I guess you could say that riding Shogun changes everything. And on top of that, we can make her stronger. Doesn't she get like another 6% energy recharge from this? She gets base stats from the Ascension, and we can level her to 89. And we can get two levels on her burst. What the f man? She's actually busted. Bro, I want to get C2. Nah. She's good enough. I want I want a fun new character to use. If she comes back though, I'm going to try to I might C2 her. If I really needed energy recharge, I could also swap these. I could give him more. I could give him more. Oh my god. But the energy recharge drops and that's too much or is it? Hold on. I just want to see if I can get my ability on cooldown. Oops. Rain 
I actually pretty much would get this on cooldown. And when I get these when I get these level ups Like when I get two more level ups on Raiden Shogun, like my my Shang Ling there, she would have had it back. Holy shit. She's so sick. I did not realize how OP she'd be on my account. Yeah, I can I can clear the abyss now with ease. And the other thing too is like if I if I don't have to bring Zhang Li, then I think I can I can do multiple teams too. Like Zhang Li being required essentially for that Geo boss, I think it kind of hinders some of my my build potential. Yeah, we have Kujo Zara and we have C6. So you want me to run in there with Raiden Shogun and Kujo Sara, and then who? Oh, Bennett? Oh, 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 oh. I see. So it will, um, ah, I got you. To shred the fences. Teamwork is driven, quiver. There is no escape. Huh. Come here, you f One with nature. Sure. Strike. Horn to oblivion. 200,000! Transcend all constraints. <laughs> what the hell? Wait, is that my highest hit then? I think that's my, like, one, gonna be my highest hit. Where, where is that? Wonders of the World? I think that was during an event. Put Amos Bow on Kujo Sara. Well, she's also low level. Her talents aren't upgraded. So she can give a lot higher attack ratio. But I, I want to save those for Ayato. If I get Raiden Shogun on this 10 pull. No, can't do it. I need Ayato. I want Ayato. I can't do that. I just don't need it. I just don't need it. Why would I be stronger? I can already beat everything in the game. I don't need to get stronger. I want more fun characters to use. You know what I'm saying? Let's see how big we can hit. Bow before the abyss. The wind knows. Fallen leaves. Adorn mine. Everybody stand back. Glory to the Shogun! Quiver! Now you shall perish! What did- I- I didn't see it! 75,000 no crit. As one with wind and cloud! Teamwork is dreamwork! Let's light it up! Storm the front! Flash! Horn to oblivion! 200 and- 225,000. 190,000. 23,000. With that, though. 285,000! <laughs> 285,000! Oh my god. Kujo Sara's talent isn't even, like, leveled up. Wow. Wait, so is that a, is that the new highest hit? That's literally the highest hit I've ever done now. What in the hell?